Remember back in 2019 when Disney were ruling the box office putting out a major blockbuster every consecutive month? Those days are long gone. In 2024, Disney's only releasing four core movies, excluding the Fox content. As a direct response to Marvel oversaturation complaints, Disney's decided to only release one Marvel film this year, which is Deadpool 3 coming out in May. This is kind of crazy for saying that the last time Marvel only came out with one film was all the way back in 2012 with the first Avengers. Adding Wolverine to Deadpool 3 should sell a ton of tickets and with the Super Bowl trailer being the most viewed trailer in history for Marvel, Deadpool and Wolverine are off to a strong start. You know how I just said that Deadpool and Wolverine broke records as the most viewed Marvel trailer in history? Inside Out 2 actually broke records in its own right as the most viewed trailer for any Disney or Pixar animated film in history, even beating out Frozen 2. Could Inside Out 2 finally lift the Pixar curse where almost all of their 2020s films have underperformed? Bob Iger's certainly hoping that this is the case. The announcement of a Moana 2 blew us by surprise as they originally said it was going to be a Disney Plus series. Bob Iger said that the footage he's seen is theatre worthy, which is why the Moana show is being reworked into a feature film, coming this November as direct competition to Wicked opening on the same day. The shot for shot 2019 Lion King remake isn't something I'd call rewatchable. But on its original release, the film made over $1.6 billion, going on to become Disney's most successful remake to date. I don't know what there is to like about emotionless lions done in a photorealistic animation way, especially because we have the perfect classic Lion King film. But looking at this optimistically, maybe there is interest in Mufasa a Lion King prequel simply because it's an original idea that's not been told as of yet. 